Hello everybody, a very good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Welcome back to Crafters TV. Indeed, if you're joining us for the first time today, welcome. It's the final show of our Friday and we are finishing our Friday in relaxing style with an award-winning show that we like to call uh, Craft Along. Over the course of the next couple of hours, we are going to be, well, I say we, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not. And I'll tell you the reason why in just a few moments time. Michelle said I wasn't allowed. Stay in your lane. <laughs> no, I was going to craft along, but we do have um, someone crafting along with us who I'll introduce you to in a little while. But basically, if you've never seen this show before, uh, we have a particular product which we are going to be crafting with. Uh, Michelle will do it in real time for you. So if you've already got this particular product uh, and you've got all the bits and pieces ready, you can craft along live with us. If you haven't yet got it, you'll be able to pick it up during the show and then you'll have this craft along to come back to when you receive your product after you bought it. It's all very good, it's all very marvellous. And of course, if you are crafting along at home, and you have any questions, if you need anything repeated, you can ask those and Superstar Susie on the socials will forward them to me, I will ask them to Michelle and we're all happy. Just before we get started on the craft along uh, and I introduce you to Michelle properly and our guest, I must just tell you that the Shop the Day page is where you need to go today uh, basically what we've done is we've rolled over some of the deals from yesterday's cartload show uh, and put them on there the biggest selling deals we had loads of 1p deals there's basically a deal on there right now where you can pick up a Gemini MIDI for a penny within a bundle and there's some goodie bags too one thing I do need to show you I'm not going to show you them all at the start of the show because we've got too much to do but the uh, goodie, gu goodie, the, go the goodie bag <laughs> the goodie bag the goodie bag uh, which had the purple cheetah in don't scream and shout but that has now sold out it's gone so if you wanted to get your hands on that that has now disappeared we do still have three other gotta bags um, and we will be uh, <laughs> going through those for you during the breaks in the craft along the other final thing I need to say before I introduce you to Michelle she's like oh say, get on with it uh, is if you check your emails today, hopefully you found our um, little cheeky code in there. If you haven't yet, check it out because we've got a, a declining discount code. Basically, declining? Decreasing. Is it declining or decreasing? Declining uh, discount code. Uh, what you will find is that there is a code. Uh, the quicker you use it, the more money you're going to save. Now, I would imagine I don't know because they didn't tell me too much. All I know is that there is a code. It started off at X. It would decline to Y and potentially decline to Z. You need to use it before midnight tonight. Uh, and the sooner you use it, the bigger the discount you're going to get. Now, I don't know, but I would imagine if you have still got that code and you haven't used it, you're probably not going to get the maximum discount. You might do, but I, I would imagine six o'clock, you know, we're halfway through the day, more than halfway through. Uh, but check out that uh, email in your email box. Uh, get that discount if you're shopping for anything that we've got on this show. And of course, anything on the Shop the Day page too. Loads of you already saying hello. So uh, we will say hello to a few of you in just a few moments time. But before that, uh, let us introduce you to the lady who is going to be taking this craft along we're going to see what she's going to be making um and also she'll tell you why she's not letting me know she, she, i can do it but i'm not doing it because we've got a guest <laughs> uh, let's have a look at what we're making with the lovely michelle mccarthy Thank you, you right? very much i am i'm very well um cool calm collected i wasn't just running about the studio looking for something at all no um but this is what we're going to be making wow that's amazing so it is with those beautiful floral um flower dyes um i thought we'd make something where we could put them on display um but it will also so if i just oh, show you perfect. it will still fold this is just a little bit bigger so it's a six by eight but, um, you, you know, you could, if you wanted to adjust the measurements and make it smaller so it's a five by seven, you absolutely could. <sighs> <laughs> she genuinely just ran out of the studio a few minutes ago. I don't know what for. Um, <laughs> let's, um, should we have a look at the little recipe list of everything that we yes. need? Um, so if you want to take part in this, uh, Michelle will go through with you now everything that you need to do the craft along. Right, so what you are going to need if you want to join in is, um, so the flower dyes, I've used all four, so I've used the Charming Floral, Dainty Daisy, Pretty Foliage, and the Dreamy Dandelion. You, um, I've also used a flo the Floral Meadow Gatefold Dye, um, Thanks Fancy Sentiment Stamp and Dye, uh, Stitched Fancy Rectangle Nesting Dyes, um, some Cream Centura Pearl, 
Nature's Garden Sunflower card, the A4 uh, size, um, the Nature's Garden Sunflower 12 by 12 paper pad. I've got some of my water reactive ink pads in lemon tonic, orange, crushed, crushed velvet and grasshopper. And then the additional items you're going to need. Um, so there's your Gemini, your scoreboard, your stamping platform, guillotine, your Kalal tacky and your Kalal all-purpose glue, uh, dotty tape pen, your normal tape pen, you will need some acetate as well and then just some gems from your um, own stash. And I think that's it. Marvellous. Um, if you want to take part in the uh, craft along, get those bits and pieces together. We'll say a few of those. Uh, Superstar Susie on the socials. Uh, and with us tonight already from uh, Toledo, Ohio, is Felicia. Jessica Strickett is with us from Southern Illinois. Georgie Ann Curley says hi, Ben and Michelle from Clearwater, Florida. Uh, also to the CTP family and crafty friends, we have got uh, Jamie and Charlotte in the gallery today. Oh yay! They both went, oh yay! Uh, <laughs> Terry says, hello from Ohio. Uh, outside work is done, now to my safe place, Crafters TV and crafting. Can I say, Terry, by the way, seen your video that you sent in. You know we were asking for um, some testimonial videos and you, you were not sure that yours was very good. We loved it. Uh, it was brilliant, I saw it earlier. Amazing, what were you talking about? It was phenomenal, thank you. Um, Kimberly says, uh, hello everyone from sunny North Carolina. Hello, hi to Sam McDonald. Uh, he says, hi Michelle and Ben. Hi to Barbara Rostovsky. He says, hello everyone from Indiana. Uh, taking a break from power, power washing my house. Power Not the wash inside. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I've never heard of it. Power washing a house just shows how little cleaning I do. I've heard of power washing a car. <laughs> Or power washing like your know, driveway. Power washing the house. Power washing the children. How cool. Power <laughs> washing the children. <laughs> that is brilliant. Um, you it. definitely need to take a break from that. If you've been power washing the house, I order you to sit with us for the next two hours and take a break. Uh, I can't get that image out of my head now. <laughs> I've never heard of anyone do that before. Uh, that is brilliant. <laughs> Lillian Quack's with us. Uh, hello, Lillian. Hello, Eleanor. Uh, it says, hi, everyone. Ben and Michelle and the CTV crew. Jutta's with us, um, saying hello to the team and everyone from Stuttgart, Germany. Mary Reno is with us from uh, Maine. Um, and lots of you already loving the idea of this project. Uh, Mary's saying, gorgeous, Michelle. Aunt Penny says, Michelle, your hair looks great. Thank you. Uh, and Beth Fallone says, good afternoon all and happy Friday. Uh, lovely to have you all with us. Get in touch, share those comments, ask those questions. Uh, let us know what you're doing for your Friday. What's going on with you uh, this Friday? What's on the agenda this weekend? We'd love to hear from you. We have one very special guest with us. Obviously, you're all invited to take part uh, and get in touch with us on the socials. Uh, but we have one lady who is in the VIP seats today. Um, I think potentially, definitely for the second, potentially the third time uh, we've done a craft along together. I think we're going to Santa Monica. Uh, we're going to say a very good evening, good afternoon to the lovely Amy. How are you? I'm great, Ben. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's lovely to have you with us. Is this this is this the second craft along we've done together or third? This is the second one you and I have done together. Excellent stuff. And uh, are you uh, excited and raring to go? Super excited. Yeah. It'll be fun. It will be. How's the um, how's the weather there in Santa Monica today? But it's, uh, I just imagine the weather it's there beautiful. is always nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. What what are we talking yeah. in degrees? You know, I honestly it's um, ten after ten here, so I didn't go out yet. But I oh. think in the um, high seventies. Okay. Or Fahrenheit. So. Yeah. So no, it is warm, like it's nice, basically. Uh, it's really than... nice. It's, it's nice. It's always a little cooler by the ocean than yeah. it is in the rest of the city or the valley. Yeah. So it's beautiful. Well, it's lovely to have you with us. Um, Thank you. And you are, uh, you've got everything that you need. Um, have, you. have you made a project like this before? We, we, actually, did you join us on the last? It was the last one, wasn't it, you and I? Yes, and we made the um, also 3D... 3D card with Michelle that used the um, everyday paper and it had columns and yeah. uh, it was like a whole scene and it, you know. Yeah, it was with those scene builder dies, was, wasn't it? Scene builder dies, it yeah. It was, it was. Yeah, it was like a work of art, wasn't it? 
It was a work of art. I, you know, um, everyone said you should hold on to it instead of actually giving it away as a card. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, that well, we, we know uh, how great of a crafter you are then, and we're, we're going to expect exactly the same from both you and Michelle over the course uh, of the next couple of hours. I'm not crafting um, along today. I'm going to sit back and admire uh, your work and also Michelle's. Um, so if you're ready, Amy, I think we are already here in the studio as well. Um, we will come back to you over the course of the show, see how you're getting on. And as always, you are, you are in the VIP seat. So if you've got any questions, uh, do raise your hand and we will get on over to you. Uh, Miriam's with us saying, hello, y'all, y'all from South Carolina. It is a good day to be a good day. Absolutely. Um, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, we're going to crack on because uh, there's lots to get on with. So I will hand you over to Michelle and we will start this award-winning craft along. <laughs> Thank you very much, but you do re realise it was award winning before I joined. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be multi award winning. Multi award now. wing now, absolutely. <laughs> right, so I've got all my bits here. So um, this is my textured cardstock. I've already got mine all out, but we don't need that yet. So I'm just going to pop that there. What we're going to start with first is just the basis. So we've got our ivory card, but again, you don't have to be using this. You can just be using white, you can be using black. Um, entirely up to you, whatever you are wanting to use. Okay. So I'm just going to bring in my guillotine. So we are going to cut this down to, oh, that's not, that, there we go. So we're going to cut this down to 10 inches wide by eight inches high. So that's the ten and then the eight. And let's just pop that away. I'm a little bit organised today. I've got all my stuff under here really nice and uh, neat and in place. Will it still be that way in an hour and 45 minutes time? No. No. It, will it still be that way in <laughs> One minute to 45 yeah. minutes, seconds no. time. <laughs> no. No. So, um, so we're going to place it on here. So you're going to have the longest side to the top. So you're 10 inches there. And we're going to score at two inches. And because it's your Centura Pearl, um, we're just going to go over it a couple of times because uh, lightly. If you're going too heavy, you, you run the risk of your... Um, tool sort of coming out of that ridge and it sort of skids over your card because of that lovely coating. Yeah. So we're at two inches and then we're going to be at eight inches. There we go. So let's just pop that under there. And then what I'm going to do is so I'm just going to bring, so you can measure these sides any way you want. I'm going to bring my pencil in and I tend to measure on here a lot. Um, and we're going to measure three inches up or five inches down, whichever, you, whichever way you work it. But, um, so our side pieces, so if I bring this in to show you, our side pieces are three inches high. So that diagonal that we're going to cut is going to go from the top of that scar line um, to three inches high on the side. So that's just the bit we're going to do now. So three inches. I'm just going to put a little mark there. I'm going to flip it round and measure three inches up. Uh, and again, so it's entirely up to you. If you want to put this on your guillotine yep. and cut it that way, um, absolutely. If you feel better with scissors, you know, put your, your scar line, your pencil line there. Uh, use your scissors or your craft knife and a ruler. Uh, whichever you find easier to do. I'm going to pop mine on here. I'm going to measure it up this way. There we go. And then flipping it round and doing the same. Remembering to put your cut from top to bottom, not bottom to top. <laughs> Don't go upside down. Oh, yeah. Good point. I know from experience. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So this is what it should look like at the minute. I'm just going to bring in my eraser and just get rid of those two little pencil marks there. And then we're just going to give these a good scar. Okay. And you will always find with um, this Centura Pearl, it's harder to um, burnish. Just, just by nature of being that, um, so it's a 310 rather than a 300, and you've got that coating on there. So I always find it 
a lot easier with this one to do it both ways. Yeah. And you've got, you get a nice good score then. Hello to uh, Eileen, who joins us from Puerto Rico. Uh, Mrs. Ace Crafts says, hello everyone from Alabama. Hello. And hello to Karen Erickson, who joins us from Southern California. Nice to have so many of you with us on this uh, Friday. Let us know your plans, please. Friday plans, what you're up to. Also, let us know if you're crafting along too. We'd love to know if you're uh, with us for this project. Right, so this is where I'm going to bring in my... So this is the gatefold dies that I've used for the top. You can be used... You don't have to use anything here if you don't want to. You can use one of our edgeables, the word edgeable, so you can have, you know, the happy birthday cut out of the top or just um, any kind of die to create that decorative element. But I liked this one because um, you've got that... You don't have that nice, neat, straight edge. You have that lovely curve on it. I just thought it was a little bit different. And again, another way to just be using um, some of the dies that you've got in your stash already. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that to the top. I'm going to try and make that border at the top as near as makes no difference the same as at the side. So it's just a little border there. So Your gonna... Ben's watching. Oh, is he back from... He's been shopping. Oh, is he? He has. What, food shopping or he's, shop shopping? No, food shopping. Oh. So I thought he might miss it, but... Um, no, he's in. He, he didn't, bless. Does, do you trust him to shop? Or like, I mean, I'm trusted, but... No, no. No, Good. he does the shopping. Oh, does he? He does, yeah. In fact, he doesn't trust me to shop. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I go shopping, I get everything that's not on the list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that why you're not allowed to shop? No, I am. I am allowed to shop, um, but I, I, I don't know. I think Laura does prefer to shop, but um, I find I can get around a lot quicker because I go in and know what we need and know where it all is. Yeah. Whereas Laura will peruse and yes, like and that's add me. stuff that you think, well, that wasn't on the list. Yeah. And then we'll forget something like you know, tea bags or something like that. So, <laughs> yeah. you know. No, that's uh, definitely me and Ben. He goes in, knows exactly what um, he wants. But do you know what? I get bored shopping with Ben because he shops for, like, loads of ingredients. Yeah. And it's really... I want to go look at the exciting stuff and, like, the crisps and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the yoghurts and... Uh, not chocolate yeah. anymore, but, you know. And you say, look at the ingredients. <laughs> I'm going to go look at the Pringles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See if there's a new flavour out. <laughs> right, there we go. So that is that piece for now. Um, so just going to pop that to the side. And for the back piece... Oh, let me pop this away. While I'm being tidy, we'll try and stay tidy. That's it. Start as you mean to go on. I always start as I mean to go on. Hey, you're 20 minutes <laughs> in. You're doing great. <laughs> um, so I'm going to... So from the textured card pack, I've got this lovely green. And I've also picked this uh, piece of paper. So you pick any piece of paper and card that you want to uh, use. Uh, I'm going to use these. So again, we're going to bring in our gelatine. And I don't think I need to pull that out. Let me pop that back in. Right, so with the textured one that we're going to use on the back. So we're going to cut this down. So my main piece here is six inches wide. So we're going to cut it a quarter of an inch uh, in. So we're going to go to five and six eighths or five and three quarters. And then this way, we're going to go to five inches. And then I'm just going to bring this in and just going to check that I'm happy with the size from here to here. Because um, I roughly um, judged that that being five inches, but I'm happy with that. I think it fits lovely. So that is going to be as it is. And then we're going to bring in this piece. OK. And we're going to have it the same width. So we're going to go to five and six eighths. In fact, I'm going to use this side with that beautiful um, gold flower on. So let me just flip that round. So five and six eighths. <laughs> And then we're going to cut that down to four and six eighths. So then if I bring this piece in, you can see it's the same width, but I've just got a border at the top and the bottom, which yeah. is what I wanted. Gotcha. So let's pop that up there. 
and then we're just going to bring this in and we're just going to glue this down. Okay. Uh, whilst you're gluing, I'll say hello to Patty, who's with us from California. Marcy LB says uh, hi from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, and says Michelle comes up with some very interesting concepts. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Roam, uh, Ro Davis says hi from Delaware, crafty friends. Uh, TGIF, exactly. And happy National Chicken Wing Day. Chicken Wing Day. Yeah, and I, I know, I know where. Uh, Becky Redican loves a national day. She does. She's in tomorrow. <laughs> uh, when I did, when produced that show last week, she just every single time we like cut back to her, she's like, oh, today is national chess day. Did you know today is national hot dog day? <laughs> it's also national bring your cat to work day. Uh, but it's national chicken wing day, apparently. Is everyone having chicken wings for... For, for dinner, Jamie's having a KFC on the way home, apparently. Ooh, I'm not a fan of chicken wings. No. I, I used to, when I used to eat meat... Uh, yeah, if I was having like a KFC type thing, I would always have it like the stuff off the bone. I don't like That's eating me. stuff off the bone. Off the bone, mm. the boneless bucket. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ben McCarthy <laughs> says, I'm watching in the car wash. <laughs> that is brilliant. Love it. Uh, the, the, some of these messages are like amazing. I don't think anyone's been watching in a weirder place than in the car wash. <laughs> uh, if you can beat that, let us know. Uh, and Sally Cripps, who was on with us last night, says, Hey, oh, Ben. And I did that last night when she messaged. Uh, hey, oh, Ben. Ben, you were right last night. I am from Yorkshire. So there you go. I was right. <laughs> she says, hello, Sally. She says, uh, Michelle, lovely card, by the way. Thank you. Lovely to have you with us, Sally. Um, Collins Corey R says, hello from Bridgeton, Missouri. Uh, just baking a strawberry cake. Uh, Michelle's with us from Jersey. Uh, Vera McGriff is with us from Northern Carolina uh, and Lynn Blackledge says uh, hi from the Isle of Wight live streaming the Sandown Carnival tomorrow Ooh, oh sounds very interesting tell us more lovely to have so many of you with us uh, keep getting in touch let us know your Friday plans uh, let us know as well uh, of other weird places that you've watched us from can you beat the car wash <laughs> right <old> so <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, so we've got this and we're gonna we're gonna cut out one of our flowers for here so the three colors that I'm gonna be using for my flowers I've picked that orange that purple and that yellow and they're quite clashy colors but still work fabulous so that is what I'm gonna go with and then I'm gonna use this again I did use this originally but I think I'm gonna go with that one for this back piece so that is going to be with my foliage, foliage. So if you're either using this or you've got another die set um, with your foliage in, then be using that. And then I'm going to use this one. So our charming floral. And what I'm going to do for that back piece is I'm going to, so we've got three dies in here. Um, so I'm going to cut one out of each. So let's get these out as well. Uh, hi to um, Rena, who's just joined us, saying, I love this. I can't wait to see Amy again. We will see Amy again very shortly. Uh, uh, Rena is watching from Los Angeles, California. So, because I'm putting a few dies on, I'm going to do what I did earlier. I'm going to build my plate combination upside down. Uh, like I said earlier, you might do it this way anyway, but I don't. Um, but if I'm putting lots of little dies on like this, I do. Because obviously, this is what your magnetic um, shim is uh, perfect for. So having lots of little dies... Have I just lost one? I have lost... Oh, it's there. Um, having lots of little dies um, held in place perfectly. So rather than me having to tape all those dies down, if I'm putting my plate combination the other way, mm. I don't have to. I can just tape that little piece of card down, and it's a lot quicker. So I'm going to have orange for the back. So let's pop that on there. Ding. <laughs> and then I think we'll go orange purple. I love the fact that Ben's watching in the car. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. We've had um, lots of bird accidents on the car this past week and it's been driving him crazy. Oh, uh, yeah. I do sometimes wash the car, but it does make it easy if you just go to the uh, go to the car wash, isn't it? Yeah. 
something I still find quite fascinating about going to the car. I don't know why. I used to like it as a kid. Oh, it used to terrify me. Oh, no, I used to love it. Oh, no. Even uh, now, when there comes them big roller things come next to your like, window, ah! um, it's a, a bit claustrophobic. I'm not claustrophobic, but it feels a little bit... I don't no. know, maybe I've watched too many horror films. Um, what, feel car like, wash, what, with ca well, scary car washes? Well, no, not scary car washes, but, yeah, like Final Destination type scenarios. Oh. Have you seen Final Destination? Oh, they're classic. I've I think I, I think I might have done. That's the one where they they're just um, like, they're, well, they're just trying to get away from nothing, aren't they? Yeah, it's sort of fate. Fate. So they should yeah. have, um, so on the first one, they should have died. In oh, the the Claire, Claire, Yes, crash. yes, I have seen um, that one. And because one of them had a vision and sort of the escaped fate, so to speak, so it chases after them. Yeah. But um, it's. It's pretty clever the way they've done it, the way um, sort of one thing sets off another that sets off another that ends up... Um, yeah. You know, offing them. Offing them. <laughs> Michelle was saying how disappointed she was uh, in me before the show because uh, we were chatting about the 80s movie The Lost Boys and I, d I said to her, I've never seen that movie and she couldn't believe it. It's just one of those films I don't know, never got around to really watching and mm. now, as I said, because... It's, it is an 80s film. I kind of think it's obviously great then, but if you didn't see it in the first place, you'll probably watch it now and think it, it isn't that good. Oh, Jamie thinks it holds up still. I think it does, but again, I originally saw it, so for me, when I watch it, I love it. Mm. But I suppose if you're new to watching it, it's the first time you've watched it, I don't know whether it would or not. Uh, well, I might see if it's on Netflix or something later on. But uh, I don't know. I really enjoy... What? It's disgusting. Jamie just said it came out when he was born, 1987. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Charlotte just said I wasn't even alive yet. Cool. I was, I was eight. Yeah, I was nine. Oh. Nine? Yeah, because I, well, yeah. I'm just that one year older than you, are You I? are. You are. Uh, well, let us know if you've, if you've seen that movie. Is it worth a watch tonight, maybe? I mean, there's no point saying is it worth a watch tonight because um, Laura won't watch it. She doesn't do horror movies. Um, she wouldn't sit and watch that with me. Um, so, um, have you seen um, Back to the Futures? Yes. Oh, OK. All the Back to the Futures. My faith in you is restored. <laughs> uh, yeah. My faith in you is restored. All the Indiana Jones movies. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars are seen. All the Bond movies. All uh, the Arnie movies. I've uh, <laughs> seen them all. Come on, <laughs> do it. Even the first one when he is with his Hercules in New York. <laughs> I've seen. I think I've seen. Maybe not all of them. I've seen most of them. Kindergarten Cop is good. It's one of my faves. <gasps> I love that. Take the toy back to the carpet. <laughs> um, hi to Vicky. He says hello from Utah. Michelle, that is one of the prettiest cards I have seen. Uh, I'll be trying to do this later today. Oh, thank you very Dale much. Dale says, good morning from a cloudy but warm San Francisco Bay Area. I love San Fran. Um, I love this weather here. And Joe Terry says, hello from South Carolina, USA. Thank you for sharing this beautiful card. Um, should I pop my flower on and take a break? Or should we take a break while I'm popping my flower on? Because all I'm going to do... Yeah. <laughs> is we're just going to layer that up and we're just going to here we're just so if i bring this in for you to see we're just going to decorate that little bit there with a flower okay um quick question from heidi hess and that's what we're here for did michelle say she cut to 7 16th i hope i heard wrong where on the guillotine is 7 16th i think you might have done i think you said didn't you say th um, three three eighths or six for the mats and layers i said um Five and six eighths right. wide by five inches high for the green texture. And then for the pattern, it's five and six eighths by four and six eighths. So I hope that helps. Yes. <laughs> Let us know, Heidi, if you need um, that yeah. repeating. Um, Sarah Brown says, hello, everyone from Melbourne, Australia. It's late here. I couldn't sleep. So coming in to see my CTV family. Also, thank you, Sarah. Saw your video today as well, which you sent in. Um, love that too. Thank you. Been um, watching these. The guys were showing me. Um, 
And also, hi to Alison, who says, Ben, yesterday was my birthday. Happy uh, birthday. Happy birthday. And last night we celebrated with my kids. Uh, my oldest son gets me. He bought me the vintage snowman full bundle. Oh, I yes. love it. Uh, so I can make cards for him, uh, says Alison. That's great. Lovely birthday <laughs> present. Uh, and hope you had a brilliant, brilliant time. Um, so you're sticking your flower on. Are we taking a yeah. break then? What did you say, Jamie, we were doing? We can, yeah, i tell you what we will do, actually, because I, I, I realised that I'd never showed you um, everything that you're going to get, so I thought we maybe we'd just quickly do a recap and we'll see how uh, Amy's getting on. This is the full collection of the flower dies that you're going to receive, uh, 14 in total, so it should be, what, $27.96 or $35, uh, platinum price $17.59, $22.80. Um, they are really, really cute. You've got the pretty foliage there, which will pretty much work with all of the florals that you've got within this collection. This is the beautiful uh, Dainty Daisy. Just really gorgeous. Think of all of the different papers that you've got and card stocks that you can back these with. I also think these will look really beautiful if you're into making your own um, backgrounds, like your watercolour backgrounds, just cutting these out in uh, black or white and placing them over the top of those backgrounds, I think, will um, give you a really, really cool effect. Um, then you've got the beautiful, charming floral and plenty of uh, paper piecing opportunities right there. Uh, and then lastly in the set is the, uh, the dreamy dandelion. Uh, all, <laughs> all, all working uh, very nicely together with each other. Uh, 17.59 or 22.80. They've been very, very popular today, actually. Lots of you uh, jumping in and grabbing them. And, and the great thing is, of course, is if you haven't yet got them, you can pick them up today. We'll send these out to you. And then when you do receive them, you have got the... Um, you've got this craft along to, 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 to do, which I think is absolutely uh, amazing. Um, other things just to quickly show you as well, the, uh, the goodie bags. Um, now, these have been so, so super popular today. Uh, they were on cartload last night and we thought, you know what, we wanna make sure that as many of you as possible can grab these. Uh, they are limited stock, we did have that, um, the uh, le leopard print bag, <laughs> nearly called it a cougar bag then for a second. <laughs> Where's that come from? Uh, it's not a cougar, it's definitely the, uh, the leopard print bag. That's sold out, okay, so just to fair warn you that these are limited. I believe out of all of the bags, even though they are limited, we've got the most stock in this one, which is good, because I think it's still the most popular. Deal works like this. You are gonna get the 24 piece Aqua Blend Botanical Collection. So your uh, premium professional quality, artist quality pencils, watercolour pencils with a bottle of our amazing glossy highlights. That's $24.78 if you're platinum or $29.52 if you're shopping in the US. Everything else I'm about to take out of this Mary Poppins style bag, you're paying a penny for. <laughs> so, the Bordeaux Quick Dry Ink. You're getting the uh, Great Outdoors Tricolour Aqua Pens. You're also getting the uh, molten copper metallic paint markers. This is all one penny. You are also getting your portrait blends in the tri-blends. You are also getting the um, vintage tones in your illustrators, dual tip pens. You're also getting your acrylic paint markers. You're also getting one of our amazing One of our amazing discovery kits. All of that right there, all of that is one penny, one tiny little penny. Uh, and that's why it's been flying out of the door since yesterday. So do not miss out. Uh, grab these whilst we've got them. They are going to sell out uh, as that uh, bag with the storage did. Another one very quickly to show you is the storage bag. Um, the storage bag? No, we've done that one, Ben. Of course, getting uh, late. The, oh, hang on a minute, now Jamie's confusing me. No, you got the right one up there. That's the festive bag. That's what you, no, we haven't. We've just done, oh, is it, everyone's confusing me now. <laughs> this is the festive bag coming up. We've just done the aqua blend bag. Come on, Jamie, concentrate. Don't confuse me, whatever you do. On my last day, with an hour and a half to go. <laughs> It won't take a lot. Now, uh, you've got your festive die bag. So this one again, that, there is your bag value right there, all right? So 24 78 30 35 if you're platinum. You're getting a double-sided die with your festive ornaments, and then you're going to get also that really cute ho-ho-ho Santa Claus uh, die set. 
Everything else in your bag you're getting for a penny, value $86.92 or $106, but you pay us 1p. You're getting that gorgeous stamp set. You're going to also get in here that amazing 3D embossing folder with stencils. That's the uh, stunning poinsettias. We're going to give you a creator card die in there, the winter stag. We're also going to give you this beautiful... Uh, wreath stamp and die set where uh, if you're using your quick dries there you can create lots of different uh, scenes with all of those uh, beautiful designs we're going to give you the snowman from our um, gift card collection and then also the tis the season to be jolly expressions die set that is worth 86 pounds 106 dollars you pay us 1p and it's yours bonkers right next up crazy it is crazy, it isn't is it? It is crazy. It's crazy Dave prices. <laughs> Next up is the Nature's Garden bag. This one, you pay for the, the Nature's Garden luxury card pack here. So you've got your pearlescent and textured card in there. Uh, four different colours uh, that, of course, um, are absolutely beautiful. 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 <laughs> You've then got your farmhouse uh, wax seal kit included in there too. Then everything else in the bag, value £70, $86, you're going to give us a penny for. So from the Secret Garden collection, you've got that gorgeous uh, gate die. Then, and this is the point by the way, these, these aren't just like products that are three or four year old. Things like this, the garden gnomes, like almost pretty much brand spanking new, uh, that you're getting the girl gnome stamp and die set. You're also going to get the moment in time stamp set from the Secret Garden. The Whimsical Lanterns, uh, that's a stamp and die set from the same collection. From the Farmhouse collection, you're getting the uh, Let Love Grow uh, set that creates that really cute little seed packet. You've got the uh, We Can Do It stamp set from the Farmhouse uh, collection. And then lastly, from the Winter Gnomes, you've got the stamp set, which is the Gnome Kissing Gate. All of that, 1p. And then... You went and saved the best for last. <laughs> This deal is um, wacky bonkers. It really is. So um, let me show you what you're paying for here. Uh, in this next bundle, you are... That's not the right deal. <laughs> you're going to get in this deal for that price on screen this die set so you've got that uh, waterfall die set with the butterflies you're going to get one of our amazing uh, die sets from our iris folding collection you're also going to receive one of our amazing um, connecting sentiment dies plus this gorgeous frame and stamp set and this beautiful five by five stencil from the enchanted dreams collection that is worth 51 pounds 16 if you're platinum 63 dollars and three cents what am i paying my penny for in this deal it's been the most popular bonkers deal midi you're getting a gemini midi for one penny within the deal uh, my favorite uh, manual die cutting machine i know loads of you already have it if you don't have it already this is the day to be able to pick it up for a penny within this bundle do not miss out um, you've got your folder your shim in there as well everything that you need to get started simplicity without electricity and as i said last night as i said last night the only person i know uh, who got uh, a midi cheaper than uh, 1p is me because i stole mine off craig <laughs> uh, uh, get those deals they are on the shop the day page do not miss out uh, but honestly they they are flying out of the door so if you can pick those up uh, please do don't forget your discount code as well uh, which i know lots of you have already used uh, let's quickly fly back to uh, santa monica and see how the uh, lovely is uh, amy is getting on with the craft along how are you doing so far amy is it uh, i'm doing great good? Excellent. And You're I'm all up to trying speed. to um, glue with the dotty tape pen all of my um, foliage and flowers, dandelions and pretty flowers on. Um, oh. I have, it's an assemblage. <laughs> Amazing. That's we looking uh, marvellous already. Did you, um, did you manage to shop any of the cartload deals yesterday? Were you with us for that at all? I watched some of it and I, I will, um, I saw the thing in my email this morning, so I'll look back at it later and, and, um, see what's left on the discount, which is great. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Hey, you are welcome. Well, lovely to see that you're uh, doing so well. We'll let you uh, carry on sticking. I think, are we gonna take a little bit of a break? Um, uh, and we'll come back to the next part of the craft along in just a few moments time. Ideal opportunity for you to be able to get your questions in, should you wish to ask any questions. And um, we'll come back with more of your questions and comments. And uh, we will come on with the next part of the craft along after this short break.
Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Come on, that was really funny, Ben. You didn't it was have better than your I'm a no when I live in a caravan. <laughs> I am a no man, I live in a caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Can we yeah, clip that? Yeah. Everybody's gone surfing, surfing USA. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at CraftersCompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Make your die cutting tools last as long as your love for crafting with the Gemini Accessories Clear Cutting Plates. Your metal dies are put under lots of pressure with each pass through your Gemini die cutting machine. So to make sure they cut crisp, clean, delicate designs for years to come, you need to look after your dies. And that's where the Gemini Accessories Clear Cutting Plates come in. Quick buy, get yours now. Um, welcome back, everybody. Um, Rose says, you babies have depressed me now since I graduated high school in 1982. <laughs> it's Charlotte's fault. She wasn't born until about 2011. <laughs> 94. <laughs> uh, Joe Terry says, is this real? Happy National Lipstick Day. No. I thought I'd known I'd have put some on. Yeah. Um... What colour? What colour would I have worn? <laughs> oh, I don't know, I've got so many to choose from. Uh, <laughs> blue to match my tie, or pink to match my shirt. Uh, I had an email today, says Suzanne, from a certain Ding Dong cosmetic company uh, saying it's National Lipstick Day. The other one, Ding Dong! Avon, oh. oh, I've said it now. <laughs> <laughs> Avon calling! My auntie used to be an Avon lady. Did she? I think yeah. everyone used to be one, didn't they? <laughs> Um, it is like Edward Scissorhands. Uh, and Suzanne Dawn says, are you guys making this up now? Microsoft telling me it's also International Tiger Day. <laughs> so we've got Tiger Day, Lipstick Day, Chicken Wing Day. Any more you want to throw away, please feel free to. Um, and Samantha says, I've just scrolled back to the beginning of the show. I saw Michelle's finished project. This is a masterpiece. Uh, masterpiece. Masterpiece. Uh, this is what I'm going to make for my sick sister-in-law. A wonderful concept card, Michelle. Thank you. Uh, let's get back to it, though, and uh, see. Keep the comments coming through. You guys are uh, hilarious this evening. I'm loving this. Um, what's the next step on our journey? Right. So this is what we've got uh, now. So I've just created my little flower there in the corner, and I've just brought in one of my, uh, just one of my gems from my stash. Mine's like um, a nice pale gold, and I've just popped that in the middle. So we're just going to put that to the side for now. We're going to bring in another one of these and we're going to start creating those boxes that go on the side so we're going to bring our guillotine in let me just pop that out <laughs> so we are going to cut this to ten and a half wide by three inches high so we're going to go ten and a half and we're going to cut, so we're going to cut two, we're going to cut two at three inches because we're going to have um, one box on each side. So that's three inches and then this one. And then what we also need for these is, so the little um, pieces that go in the middle to hold the flowers and things like that. So we're going to cut two. Uh, in fact, we're going to cut two for each. So all in all, you're going to want four pieces of card. And they are going to be four inches wide. My voice went a little bit then. You what? My voice went a little bit. Did it? I didn't hear that. It sort of, I did a bit of a 
an involuntary yodel. <laughs> Oh, Amy just said, yeah, that's hilarious. Amy just asked if you can repeat what you just said because yes. I don't think she caught it whilst you were yodeling. <laughs> so from these are from this one. So, so two of these pieces, and yep. these are going to be ten and a half inches wide by three inches high. You need two of those. And then we're going to cut four strips, and they're going to be four inches wide by an inch high. And we're going to need four of those. So that's one. Let me just. Two. So all, all in all, you're going to have four of these. That's my fault. So let's pop this away. <laughs> Bethan says it is also National Talking and Elevator Day today. Talking and Elevator Day. Is that true, Bethan, or are you are you are you winding me up? <laughs> they, uh, when I I googled one last week, a national particular day, and there's like loads each day. You'd think yeah. it'd just be one. But the um, thing is, though, National Talking and Leather Day today, if that is actually a thing, you don't really, <laughs> you don't really get time. How long are you in an elevator for to start a conversation with somebody? Yeah. You know. Well, you would hope not, not long enough. Yeah. You don't want to be, like, stuck in there. Or you know, and having a chat with somebody in an elevator, I mean, surely that's going to have its ups and downs, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Right, so these two pieces... Um, <laughs> we're going to scar. So we're going to scar at two inches. And then five. Yep. And then seven. And then ten. So what you're going to end up with is the three inch um, front of your box, two inches, three inches, two inches. And that half an inch there is going to be your tab on the end. So we're going to do that again. So we're going to do two inches and then five, seven, and then ten. So that's those two pieces. We're just going to pop them to the side. And while we've got a scoreboard out, we might as well um, be getting on with these. So these yep. are four inches wide and we're just going to score a half an inch at both sides. So we're going to do a half inch on this side and then we're going to score at three and a half. And that gives us that half inch tab on each side. So you're going to do that on all four pieces. That's the third one and then on the last one. So let's just get rid of our scarboard. And we're just going to do one box at a time. So we're going to take one of your big ones, one of your big... But, uh, James is asking if you repeat the last measurement for Yeah, um, so for Amy. these. So it's four inches wide. You're going to, you want a half inch tab on each side. So you're going to score at half an inch and then three and a half. So you then end up with a, a half inch tab on each side and it should be three inches wide in the middle. Right. So you've got two of these yep. and we've got four of these. So we're going to put two of these and one of them to the side and we're going to work on this box for now. So all we're going to do, we're going to just burnish those scar lines and I do it gently again because it's the Centura Pearl and it's got that lovely coating on it. You're going to want to um, just do it gently back and forth to get a lovely um, edge on it. So nice scars, and then this last one. And then, so it's going to come round, and we're just going to glue that tab together, and you've got your lovely little box. So again, this is why um, I'm using both my glues, my um, 
Tacky glue is in this bottle and it is the best thing for anything coated. So any card stock that's mirror card, Centura Pearl, um, glitter card, this is what you're going to want to use. Okay. Um, Colin Corriar says, are we taking uh, requests to the gallery? Ben, can you show us the can-can again, please, during the break? You'll have to ask, you have to ask Charlotte nicely in the, um, <laughs> in the comments, because she's, I don't, I don't, oh, she said she's already done it. Oh, there you go, you don't have to ask again. She's, she's, she's uh, ever She's on it. She's on it. Um, Terry Anderson, we'll do that. What time are we doing the next break? <laughs> Now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do another break in about 20 minutes, do the can, can then we'll do another break after that, we'll show the crafty man, <laughs> then we'll do the Copacabana, uh, and then we'll be, we'll be there or thereabouts, won't we? Got to have a bit of music on a Friday night, haven't you? You cool. have. Uh, Terry says, hashtag national bad dad jokes. It is bad dad jokes day, every day. Uh, <laughs> and Fred says, Elev elevator conversations are not for raising your voices either. But um, Very good. <laughs> Like all of these, keep them coming through. Let us know as well if you're crafting along. Obviously, we've got Amy crafting along with us um, in Santa Monica. Are you crafting along? Long? Do you plan to? Maybe you've bought this collection today and you're thinking of um, doing it. Do let us know in the comments. Uh, and if you do craft along at any point, feel free to send your pictures in to us as well. We'd love to see what you've done, don't we? Oh, definitely. Mm. It's, it's one of the best bits about doing this, seeing what they, they've come up with. Um, so I've put nice scores on my um, box so it's going to fold both ways um, nice and easily. And then my two little um, bridge pieces, I score them like a Z. So mine is, um, I've got that score there, it goes across and it goes down that way. Um, I find that um, easier, I find, than putting it in like that. So um, you can't really see that, can you? Let me bring that in. Can you see it better? Oh, that didn't help at all. You can, <laughs> but you can just see it. Yeah. That's like the U shape. I put them in this way because I find it folds a lot better doing it that way. So, but again, you know, it's, it's personal preference, I suppose. If, if you find it easier doing it the other way, then, you know, you go for it. But um, I just find that you get a nice, better fold flat doing it this way. So when I put it in, so this is a half inch, I'm just going to line this piece up just a couple of mils, so maybe a quarter of an inch away from the front. And again, you can line these up however you want in there. You can have one closer to the front, you can have quite a wide gap in the middle, you can have them both equally spaced. Again, this is just personal preference and however you want um, to make your box up. So we're just going to hold that in. I'm going to slide it in there. Do you sort um, of go through phases when you're crafting of a particular make? Because as I said to you earlier on, you seem to be really enjoying adding sort of construction elements to your projects at the minute. I always love construction. This mm. is my happy place. Um, so I just thought it was about time that I started bringing that into my craft and showing people actually it's not as hard to do. Yeah. As it looks so like those um, floating elements in that card that I did this morning. Mm. Sometimes you will look at a card that someone's made like that and you'll think, I will never be able to do that. So I want to show people, actually, you can. Yeah. Um, and I just enjoy it. I like though, all those movable elements on a card. Makes it extra special, doesn't it, I it think? It does. So I made sure I held that side down. And then what I tend to do is, even though I've got glue on that side, I'll hold that down. And then when you flatten it, that will just by nature stick exactly where it needs to be. And then when you pop it up, it's perfect. So then just flip it to the other side, give it a good, you sort of burnishing those scar lines with your thumbs, um, giving it a good press down and you've got a beautiful um, bridge in there. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. Um, I'm just going to, mine are going to be roughly exactly the same size. Um, width wide but again that's entirely up to you however you want to make this so let's pop that in there Terry messages to say uh, I started crafting along and hubby needed a ride to get his truck an oil change he's so needy <laughs> <face."> 
<laughs> have you managed to catch up, Terry? Uh, let, let us know. Um, and as I mentioned, I don't know if you would have caught it, but we got your video that you sent in, thank you, and it was very, very good after you uh, said that you weren't so sure. So thank you for that. Um, if you want to know what we're talking about, head to my Facebook page and you'll see a little uh, post about uh, some videos uh, that you need. That we need, not you, we need. <laughs> we need. I liked Nicholas. <laughs> yes. Basically, we're after little, um, we're after little videos that we can, you know the little uh, ad breaks that we do? We're after little sort of testimonial videos, basically. Um, and so I did a little video saying, oh, we'd love, to, love it if you could film some test, you know, videos. Tell us why you love Crafters TV. Uh, you know, tell us who your favourite presenters are, your favourite craft experts, that kind of thing. And then it was like, oh, I'll get some of the team to, um, to do a, a little video to show you uh, what to do. And I got Nicholas, she went, I'll do it. And it was along the lines of, what did she say? She said, uh, I love all of the presenters on Crafters TV, especially Joe Remblance, because he is really, really funny. <laughs> and um, I love his singing voice. And then I said, oh, what about Ben Mosby? And she went, who? Ben who? <laughs> who? So she did it in her, she's like, she, Nicola is so brilliant, I love her to bits, and she's got such a funny way about her, and she did it in her tickle, uh, t typical Nicola style, you, you'll have to watch the video to get the full appreciation <laughs> of uh, just the, how put downy that who was, it was just done <laughs> so brilliantly. What about Ben Mosby? And she's like, who? So do, do go and watch that, uh, it was very funny, <laughs> Ju Ju it's on my Facebook page, Julia's laughing out there. <laughs> It's the kind of thing you would have done, Julia. It's the kind of thing you would have done. It's pinned to the top of my page uh, on Facebook, if you want to see it. Nicola is just hilarious. She is hilarious. Um, she's hilarious. Multi-talented as well. She is. Mm. That's why I let her off for that comment. And she rocks the Crocs. She does rock the Crocs. I, got, I, I, I don't mind a pair of Crocs, you know. No. No? I've got to say, I'm not a fan, but um, seeing Nicola in those crocs that she's got, I don't know. Oh, I've always, uh, always thought crocs were acceptable, but there we go. Now I know that they're not. <laughs> I'll take them off. <laughs> <laughs> right, so all I'm doing is I'm doing exactly the same with the other box as we just did with that first one. So just give it all a good scar and burnish. And then I'm just putting my little bridge pieces in. So again, just holding that one side down for a second before I even attempt to hold that one in place. And then holding that one there and that one just folds over into place exactly where it needs to go. Just gonna give it a good press down, pop it open, fold it that way do exactly the same and it sticks perfectly yeah uh sue king just says i'm watching and writing down the instructions as usual Aww. i'm enjoying making michelle's craft alongs they are brilliant and I, I, i'm not just saying this because she's um stood here 20 right feet away from me uh, but no michelle's craft lungs are always brilliant and um like really sort of taking it to the next level and what i'm what i mean by that is like taking it to the next level as far as the finished item looks but not to the next level so that you, you're not able to do them that this is this is the great thing about these is that they are all very achievable as uh, you know I, I sort of hopefully proved on the last one with that uh, beautiful card uh, that looked so technical to do but actually when broken down into little mini steps yes. these are very achievable for for everybody and of course if you're crafting a long live fantastic uh, if you get a little bit behind as i say we can always repeat but you can always watch this craft along back at a time to suit and do it in your own time which is the the main thing isn't it really and i think that's it i i want i want I want the people watching, I want those fabulous people to realise that some of these construction pieces, especially that I do, yeah. actually aren't hard. There might be a few more steps involved, but um, they're not hard. They just take a little bit longer. Yeah. But we will get this one finished. Um, but, yeah, I just want to... <laughs> we will, I promise, this time. We did well last time. My last one we got finished in time. The, the one that I joined in with? Um, I, I, yeah, I think that's... You finished it in time. 
Yeah. Because uh, we finished it in time, didn't we? Yeah, you, yeah, <laughs> you, you finished it in time. When I, because I stopped about twenty minutes from the end, because I kind of thought I was holding you back a bit, and that's when I then carried on in the studio after everyone had gone. I was in it for another half hour. They were sweeping up, they were turning the lights out, and everything. They're like, "Are you going out? What?" I was like, "Nope, I'm finishing this craft along." Um, but no, the point is that they are all very, very doable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fred171 says Crocs are for the fashionably challenged. <laughs> well, Crocs I did are, like to say. <laughs> Crocs are very cool. <laughs> Crocs are very cool. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the mat and layer pieces for on here yep. and this side. <laughs> so we obviously don't need both of these because if I bring you this in, um, this one's glued to this side, so you're not going to see it. So we're not going to mat and layer one side of these. But so we're going to mat and layer the front and the side. But we're also going to do the back because when you're going to fold it to send it, um, you're going to be seeing the back as well. So we're going to mat and layer that um, piece up as well. So again, I've picked um, my textured card and a bit of my pattern card. So we're going to cut these pieces down. So we're going to go to, I'm just checking my measurements next to me because I don't want to get it wrong. Um, right, so we are going to go to two and three quarters of an inch high. And then we're going to cut at two and three quarters of an inch wide. So if I bring that in, just going to check that it fits on perfectly, which it does. So we're going to cut four pieces of this. So we're going to cut four pieces at two and six eighths by two and six eighths. So two, three, and four. So that's two for each box. Yeah. And then we're going to cut the side pieces, so they're going to be the same height. So we're going to go to two, two and six eighths. But because the sides are only two inches wide, we're going to cut um, two pieces, and these are going to be one and six eighths. Yeah. So just bringing that in. You can see that it fits on there perfectly. So we only need two of these. So cut another one and just at one and six eighths. So there we go. So we've got two of those and four of those. So they are all two and six eighths of an inch high. These are two and six eighths of an inch wide. And these are one and six eighths of an inch. I can't do that th on my eighth. Eighth. Oh, it sounded a bit like, uh, was it, is it Daffy Duck? Daffy Duck. <laughs> Puffering <laughs> Right, so we're going to go down another quarter of an inch to mat and layer these with our pattern paper. So I'm just going to pop those off. So again, we're going to need four pieces and these are going to be two and a half inches by two and a half inches. So we will need four. So before I go on to cut any more, I always check um, just to make sure that I'm quite happy with the border that I've got round there and everything's nice and straight, which I am. So these are going to be two and a half by two and a half, and we need four of them. So it's two. Three. And that's my fourth. And then we're going to just need two to mat and layer onto that. So again, we're staying at the same height, which is two and a half inches. And this is going to cut one and a half inches wide. So again, just bringing it in, making sure I'm happy with that, which I am. So I just need one more piece at, um, how high are we? A two and a half, so two and a half inches high. 
by one and a half inches wide. So there we go, let me just check that I'm happy with that. Yeah, perfect. So then we're just gonna glue, I'm gonna glue these all together. Yeah. Um, and again, um, so for this, because there's no um, coating, yeah. I'm just gonna bring in uh, my Kalal, my just Yes, just, sorry, yes. <laughs> just right. to say as well, a few people just asking, uh, again, uh, saying that Michelle's saying 6 8 again. Why does Michelle say 6 8? The reason why, of course, is because it's in eighth increments, eighth, see, I can't say it now, it's in eighth increments on the um, guillotine, you see. Yes. And, and that's how I, when I use that guillotine, that's exactly how I work. I would normally say three quarters or a half, but, it's, uh, but when I follow those measurements easier in my mind, the way that you're saying them, because you count along the notches on the board. That, that, that's the reason yes. you say it, isn't it, that yeah. way? Yeah. And, and I think a lot of the time, so um, showing you this piece here, it's gone down a quarter of an inch from that to that. Yeah. So it's gone down from that two and a half inches to, or that three inches to two and six eighths. But um, I work in one eighth of an inch a lot. So sometimes, or a lot of times, my... Um, sort of mat and layer piece will only be one eighth of an inch. So you yeah. get that really thin sliver all the way round. So because I'm that used to working in the, those one eighths, three eighths, mm. um, I think it's just force of habit that I will say one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven eighths yeah. of an inch. No, I, I, to I totally get it. It's funny, isn't it, how we all work differently. Yeah. But I, from, I would always have said three quarters, but then having used things like the scoreboard and that guillotine now as well, seeing the different notches, I, I, it works better for me when you say six eighths. Yeah. It's also great, you know, to uh, practice your maths as well. That's the other reason uh, <laughs> Michelle likes to, she likes to challenge you uh, when it comes to uh, breaking down your uh, fraction. So hopefully uh, you will manage to spot that uh, six eighths, three quarters. Congratulations. It's just however you work, but I understand why people are saying um, and asking that question. Uh, hi to Lily, just says, hello, lovely people. Another one of Michelle's amazing craft alongs. I'm now on holiday for a week. Woohoo! Nine full days of crafting, you say. Uh, maybe a trip out for lunch on occasion as well. Well, you've got to do it for a holiday. Got to go out for a bit of lunch. Um, hi also to Miriam, she says, I'm crafting later as I've saved the show. Uh, I'm doing some iris folding whilst watching and listening. Oh. Love Lovely. a bit of iris folding. Uh, Patrice has joined us from Texas. And also thank you to uh, Betsy Black as well, who I believe has sent us in uh, another video testimonial. So uh, thank you for all of that. Uh, Miriam also saying I'm going to be doing Corinne's craft along from earlier this week. Marvellous. That's what we like to hear. And that was a said, lovely craft along. That was... It was those... It wasn't it? The sentiments. Um, didn't she do like the... Um, the cards in the little folder type thing? Or am I totally thinking of a different one? Yeah, because, yeah. I'm going to say, this is bad if I did it with her because I can't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, was it? Was it? Uh, what, days, what, what day is it today? Friday. Tuesday, Wednesday. When have I been in? Tuesday, I was with. Was it on Monday? Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> was, it the, was it a picture frame? Was it this? Was it that? Is that the craft along? No, no, oh. I don't think oh. that. Oh. There's no other options. That's the only. <laughs> that's what won the card of the week on card of the day on Monday. Yeah. No, I definitely didn't do the craft along because Tuesday's Corin won with their little card holder, the candle holder. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. So we've got our pieces. We're going to bring these in. Oh, that's upside down. Uh, yes, yeah, so um, we've got those two, and we're going to just put one of the side panels on each, and then the front and back panels on them both. OK. So let me split those up so I don't get confused. Can you go. give us a shout when you want to take a little break, by the way? Um, well, I'm, I'm happy whenever you are. If we've got to this part, we're just matting and layering these up, so it's entirely... Um, Tally up to you, Ben. Well, it's nice. Not Tally me. up to Jamie. <laughs> Do it. Uh, we are going to. So, so we, you, you're happy at a point, then, are you? Um, yes. I am. But what I am going to say is because I'm going to be gluing these onto this um, 
Accenture Pearl, I'm, I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to bring my tacky glue in again. So that is what I'm going to be using to glue these to this base. Fine. A uh, few comments coming through. Uh, Dennis says, now that makes sense. Thank you. The six, eight, three quarters thing. You're welcome. Lenny says, crikey, Ben. I craft so I can avoid things like maths. <laughs> Lol. We like to challenge you here. We like to challenge. Uh, yes, it was with Joe, says Panda Crafts. The card in a box thingy, says Miriam. Yeah. Card in a box thingy. Miriam uh, also saying it was on Monday. Uh, and Sue says, I've been making Corinne's craft along this afternoon. I made the box. Still got to make the, uh, the notelets. It was a what box? A sherbet box. Oh, shadow box. I thought you said it was a sherbet box then for a second. <laughs> um, so that's that craft along. Of course, if you've missed any of the shows as well, you can uh, always go back, watch them on YouTube and indeed on our Facebook page. They are there for you whenever you want to watch them. Um, did, do you want to look at this, did you say? Uh, yes, yes, so we're just um, gluing these on. But all I will say as well is to make sure, because you're going to have one at each side. So these two, sides here are going to be glued to the inside of the card so you don't want to mat and layer those make sure you do the outsides make sure you don't do it upside down or anything oh you yeah need to make sure that sit these where they need to go and make sure that it's these two sides that you're going to put these two thinner pieces on top uh, if you want to add some lovely cardstock and papers into your uh, basket, the Country Lane collection is proving very popular. Basically, this deal brings you all of the consumables from that set. So you might have already bought the uh, hardware, as it were, and you want to stock up on the consumables. That's what you can do in this collection. Gorgeous paper pad, actually, and we were talking about this earlier on. Uh, as always, double-sided, so you've got the, um, the reverse, which is going to mat and layer beautifully for you. And actually, as you go through, you'll spy that we've got loads of different beautiful florals in there and kind of floors through all the seasons as well so i think this is a paper pad which will take you through uh not only your sort of summer and autumn but into your winter and spring as well love this too a really big fan of the fact that on a lot of the reverses you've got that uh wood effect it's almost like um the fence like a decking effect which i think is going to look absolutely beautiful matted and layered against some of the florals that you've got in there too and i particularly like that pink um uh, would affect there. I think that looks gorgeous. That and that together, absolutely stunning. It's 36 double sided sheets. You're going to get that in the 12 by 12. Also, you'll get that in the 6 by 6 as well. Um, then you're going to get the set of your luxury cardstock too. So it's 20 sheets in total there, all matching up perfectly with that set. Uh, and then you get vellum. Basically, the deal is that you uh, pay for all this, you get the vellum for free. So 24 sheets of your 8 by 8 vellum, uh, £30, 38 or 39 88 is your platinum price on that. Uh, I don't know, uh, 30, 38 or 39, 88. Another, another pad, get a look at. Uh, the uh, luxury vellum pad, also on the show for you as well. Um, this again, if you love working, oh, hello. Uh, not me. Uh, if you love working with vellum, again, this pad you might want to, uh, to go for. Uh, it is uh, 24 sheets in total. Uh, beautiful uh, foiling on your vellum here as well. So you've got like uh, gold foiled hearts on there. You've got uh, foliage in here. I mean, seriously, this has been hacked into <laughs> like you would not believe. I've been properly stitched up here. Uh, you've got the silver um, foliage fold onto that green as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Butterflies, foliage, hearts, stars on there as well. Um, quite simply, I think some of the most some of the most beautiful <laughs> vellum I think we've ever seen. 21.59 or 25.16 uh, is the deal on that if you want to pop that into your basket. Uh, we are, we are going to have, after all of that, uh, a short break now uh, as well uh, from uh, the Venom to the Can Can. Um, if you have got any questions, uh, do make sure you get those in and we'll come back with the next part of the Craft Along um, in just a few moments time.
Pokey tools and paper pads, gilded and wax and stamping mats, scissors, glitter, builder blocks, faux snow fabric, rocker blocks, breeze misters, quilting clips, and diapers, tools, precision snips, finger doorbells, acetate, stencils, glue guns, and templates. Gemini Pro, Julia and the OG. Gemini Go, Mini and the Midi. Triblend brush pens, aqua pens, and aqua blends. Illustrators, classics, and tri blends, and color blends, and glitter pens, and sparkle pens, outliner pens. Fine tip glue applicators and bellow box creators Stamping platforms, box of boards, a bit score and scoreboard Nina card and craft card, glitter card, my flat card Craft kits, wadding and adhesive sheets, glass mats Guillotines and pen trays, ball tool dice, stamping trays Mitre tools and binding tools and toe bugs, USBs Bone folders and punches, low tap tape and brushes Stamens, mailboard, flower form and foam I find markers, DVDs, spells, quick triton pads and CDs, gilding flakes and washi tape, tacky glue, red liner tape, craft pads, press sparkle pots, and churra pan and sticky dots, pigment ink pads, chunky glue, body bags, all purpose glue, embossing folders, blending tools, storage folders, much more too. Water, reactive ink pads, body bags, craft magnets, gear of craft and glue, stick, stick and spray and stick away, dotty tape and split pens, acrylic paint pens, tape pens, watercolor card, rotary cutters, magazines and stamping cards, ultimate Pro on the rotating design board. After the first bump and the young Sahara signature collections. And don't forget Discovery Kids. Oh, and there's foam pads. Think that's it. One final thing foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Uh, there you go, short little break uh, for whoever requested that. You are welcome. Lily says, not seen this in ages. Love it. Uh, Sean Peacock says, I've had my pizza now uh, and I'm catching up and crafting along. And Gwen Terry is in, say, do you all want a riddle? Yeah, we'll have a riddle whilst we're crafting along. I uh, missed you all wa uh, week watching Too Busy, says Gwen. Well, uh, lovely to have you back. Yes, send us a riddle. We always, always love a little riddle um, on a Friday. <laughs> Well, oh, that's made me laugh. Let's uh, see how um, Amy is uh, getting along, crafting along with us. Uh, how's it all going, Amy? Are you all up to speed? How's it looking so far? Yeah, and I'm putting the I'm putting the boxes. I'm matting the layering the boxes. Oh, so fantastic! They'll go on soon. Yeah. Um, it's easy to follow along with the way Michelle is doing it. It's like once you see it step after step after step, you get this amazing creation. Yeah. That, and that is the thing, isn't it? As you found, I think, with the last craft along that we did too, you, when you see the finished project, initially, I suppose it can, could be quite daunting, but when you break it down into steps, it's, it's achievable for all, isn't it, really? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It could be very daunting, but then when you just go one step at a time, you see that she's teaching you what you're going to do. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's great, great that you are uh, uh, keeping up with us, and um, we'll look forward to seeing your finished project very soon, I'm sure. Um, Me too. Yes, going to be amazing. Are you ready for the next little step? I am ready, willing, and maybe able. <laughs> of course <Always> you are. Able. <laughs> I am. So I've got my two boxes here. Um, so if I just bring those, oh, are we in front of me? Let me show I turn it that way. There we go. So those are my two boxes, and you can see that these two side, let me flip them round. These are the two outsides that I have matte and layered because if I bring my card in, this, this side is going to glue there. So we need to make sure that that outside is the bit that's got the matte and layer on. And again, with this side, so that bit is going to be glued to there. So you're going to want to make sure that that piece is matte and layered. Uh, Don't accidentally yes. do it the wrong way. So it's all about keeping them exactly where we need them to be. Oops. So We'll just throw that to the side. <laughs> we won't. Uh, so I'm going to turn these back round so I know that the um, the right way that I need them, and I'm just going to pop them over there for now. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in all of our coloured card that we're going to use to cut out those beautiful flowers. So I've picked, and again, you don't have to go for all three. Um, it just it all matches beautifully. So it's all from the sunflower collection. Um, but if you're using the country lane, you know that all the card in there is going to match all the papers. So you don't need to worry that I've picked three that you might think actually clash. But if I bring that one in, you've got that beautiful flower there. It doesn't. It looks absolutely lovely with those three colours on there. So we're going to bring in 
a, um, our sandwich. So again, I'm going to do it upside down, but again, this might be the way that you do it anyway. So I can put all of my dies on all at once. So I'm just going to get, and again, if you're not using all of these, then you won't be putting all of them on. <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> That's my favourite tip of the day. <laughs> um, so I'm going to shush them all up together. So I'm not going to be um, wasting too much of my card. Just looking for my other set. It's here. So I'm going to pop it on there. And then I'm going to bring in my yellow piece of card. I'm going to tape it in place. Well, let me turn it over. Tape it in place and run it through. Um, whilst it's going through, I must say hi to Shadaya, who's joined us. Uh, Terry says, love the green man in the can-can. Uh, Collins Coria, who requested it, uh, says, you have a great set of lungs. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Sharon says, one of the funniest things about that song is the closed caption words, not exactly what you're singing. I have to look back at that. Um, and a few of you just saying, uh, including Susie and Shadaya, that you've received cards uh, from me. Um, oh yes, that you won on the little um, craft along, the craft along uh, quiz. Yes, um, glad you got those. So I, I don't always hear that they um, get to the destination that I send them out to. Um, so that is good to know. Uh, lots of you loving the little break there. Uh, Fred says Ben, you would make a great Riddler in the Batman remake. Well, funny you should say that. <laughs> Keep watching. Uh, and then uh, Gwen sent a joke. Here goes, a pirate walks into a bar with a paper towel on his head. <laughs> the bartender asks, hey, what's with the paper towel? The pirate says, "Ah, I've got a bounty on me head. <laughs> bounty, because it's the <laughs> towel, isn't it? The kitchen towel. I like that. That's in the joke book. I love that. And uh, hi to Susan, who joins us from Karuna, Michigan. Lovely to have so many of you with us on this Friday. Um, do let us know what you're up to, if you're crafting along, if you plan on crafting along, what's going on for the weekend as well, uh, and which national day you're celebrating today, National Tiger Day, National Lipstick Day, or National what, Chicken Wings Day, or <laughs> National Talking and Elevator Day. So many to choose from. <laughs> it's spoiled for choice today. <laughs> Could you do all of them at once? says Jamie eat chicken wings in an elevator whilst having a conversation uh, with a tiger whilst putting lipstick on <laughs> might be quite difficult I've heard of the tiger who came to tea but not the tiger who got into an elevator maybe that's the, the follow up <laughs> <laughs> oh dear so we just I'm taking all these out and I'm going to pop them back on yeah. because we're going to cut it out again in the purple and then again in the orange. So that's what we're just doing at the minute. And I'm not tapping. I, do you know, I always think tap and unwrap. Every time I tap a die. And then again, look, it's gone straight back to food. <laughs> you, think, you always think what? Tap and unwrap. You know when I tap them to get the bits out? Yeah. And then it reminds me of a chocolate orange. Oh, uh, what was that? Tap and unwrap? Tap and unwrap. Oh, I didn't Do you know remember that. the advert? No, I don't. Oh, it was with um, Dawn French, wasn't it? Tap and unwrap. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it's not Terry's, it's mine. Yeah. But I always, I always, because I have mine in the fridge, my chocolate. If I have chocolate, it has to be in the fridge. So I think when... I'm saying same, chocolate yeah. in the fridge. Yeah, chocolate by the fridge. So a chocolate orange, when you get it out, this, you can't tap and unwrap it. You have to Smash wallop it. it. <laughs> Smash Wha and unwrap it. Yeah. yeah, smash it on the floor and unwrap it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it doesn't sound the same, smash and unwrap, <laughs> does it? <laughs> I quite like it. Yeah. <laughs> and again, so all I'm going to... Oh, they're on here. All I'm going to do, we're just going to take all these um, flowers out. And is it acceptable to eat a whole Terry's chocolate orange in one sitting? Just yeah. ask, ask, ask him for a friend. Yeah, it is. It is, is it? Good. Especially if you've got like a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and then you can dunk it in. <laughs> then else do that. Oh, beauty. My, um, my Laura likes um, Terry's chocolate orange. I always make sure that I buy her a couple at Christmas time. Obviously, so that I can yes, yeah. you know, enjoy it with her. You see, Craig likes the white ones, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. 
I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. When I um, popped round to see him um, with Charlotte uh, last week, I, I bought him a few bits and pieces, and I was I bought him um, a normal Terry's chocolate orange because I, I, you just can't find the white ones. No. I don't think for love and the money. It's normally a Christmas thing when the white ones. Oh, are is that when they bring it out? Yeah. That's probably why I couldn't find it then. Um, Talking to Craig, Linny says, has anyone heard from Craig today? It's the last Neighbours episode tonight. Maybe someone should check in with him and make sure he's coping. I don't know how Craig's coping, but I'm devastated. I've been watching that since I was about 10. Have you? Have I you, have. Have you recorded the last episode then? Yeah, I always record them. Oh. Yeah, and I have. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to bring myself to watch it, though. It's not to say, though, surely, that they wouldn't bring it back again, or is it just a definitive, that's it? Never, no more. Well, uh, the sort of wrapping everyone's storylines up and giving them all their yeah. happy endings that they sort of deserve. So I think Plain Jane's going to get her man from when... Have you ever watched Neighbours? I, w I did used to watch... Back in the day, say when... it would have been, I suppose, the mid-80s, yeah. um, for whatever reason, my mum was very funny about me and my sister. We weren't allowed to watch Grange Hill. Really? I don't know. I didn't think it was suitable. Mm. And we might have had to watch Neighbours, but we always somehow managed to sort of, you know, uh, I think we had like a, a telly upstairs as I'm used to sneak and watch it. So I used to watch it at the time when there was like, yeah, there was Kylie and Jason, yeah. Steph and Dennis was in yeah. it, uh, Mrs. <laughs> Mangle and Bounce of the Dog, Henry. I used to like Henry with the curly yes, hair, the hair and I got a pair yeah, of dungarees just like him because I thought that like dungarees were cool. So I, I watched around that time, but then, no, I'd say like maybe in the mid 90s, I, I probably stopped watching. Um, and then pretty much all together when it moved to um, Channel 5, that was it then. Um, so, yeah. But you've watched right from the start, right to the end. I can, t I can honestly say I've never missed an episode. Is it on in the US or not? No. I don't think so. Do you have no. neighbours in the US? Oh, apparently not. <laughs> have you ever just had that one day where no matter what you do, it's not coming out? This is mine today. Oh, there we go, look. Right, there we go. So I have noticed that just a couple of my dies haven't cut all the way through, so I'm not sure if it's because I'm not popping out all my little bits properly. But what I'm gonna do is just to prevent it from happening this time, I've got them all on there. Um, I'm gonna pop my do I have my metal shim? I'm going to pop my metal shim in um, purely so I don't have to run it back through um, a second time. OK. Oh, um, and sometimes it happens, which is, which is why you have the metal shim included. Um, so I'm going to pop that on the top. But what you will find is so something that's a little bit more intricate, when you've got the metal blade um, onto the metal rather than the plastic, you get a really good, nice, let me just flip that, um, clean cut through. So let's pop that through there. Let me try and get rid of some of this mess before Julia comes in and sees it all. Oh. <laughs> I'm throwing it in the bin. I yes. But I'm throwing it towards the bin. If it's not quite going in, um, I do have the fan on as well, so as I'm throwing it to the bin, it's, it's all blowing it face. to the side. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's cut through. It was this one. I just noticed on the last one that it hasn't cleanly cut through. Just a little bit, but again, I didn't know if it was because um, I've not cleaned my dye. Um, Sally says, uh, love watching Michelle make her cards. I think she is amazing. Oh, thank you. I'm watching you on my TV in my craft room, also reading the comments on my iPad whilst listening to the Rugby League on yeah. Alexa. Ooh, who do you support, Sally? Who's your Rugby League team? I'm, I'm a Rugby Union, obviously, fan being a Southerner, but Rugby League's the, the Northern game, the proper game, as they tell me when it comes to rugby. Um, yeah. That's great, though. I love that. Listening to the Rugby League and watching us. Uh, Kirsty Lee says, my brother's having a neighbour's farewell party. Oh. Uh, and Fred171 says, if you think of a bad word, Michelle, the die hears you and let's go. Lol. OK. <laughs> um, and this is Gwen's riddle tonight. This is making my head hurt already. Uh, in a square room, there is a cat in every corner of the room. In front of each cat, 
there are three cats. How many cats are there in the room? Oh, in the I, square I room, there is a cat in every corner of the room. In front of each cat, there are three cats. Riddle me this. How many cats are there in the room? I know, I know. Do you know the answer? Yeah. Why do you know that one so easily? Because oh, it's obvious. <laughs> Is it a trick? No. Have you heard it before? No. How come you're so sure then? Because I'm just that good. <laughs> yeah, we know enough. No, I don't know. It just it popped into my head and I think I know the answer. Ah. Uh. Ma don't say it out loud. Ma mouth right, it to me. Okay. Mouth it to me. Mouth it to me. <laughs> You're uh, right. See, it occasionally happens. <laughs> I think you were right, Michelle. That is, oh, because I fell for the trick, and you yeah. saw straight through it. You did. <laughs> you were like a cat pouncing on a mouse with that one. I was like a riddle ninja. You were a riddle <laughs> ninja. I mean, you might be wrong yet, but uh, know. you know, brilliant. And then I'm a a riddle joker. Jamie thinks it's 20. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's 20. Come on. Uh, um, uh, Su Susie on the socials, you got the answer that I got, but what everyone else is saying on the socials is the answer that Michelle mouthed to me, and I think that is the one, because I, I think me and you, Susie, fell for the, the catch, the trick, Gwen's little trick. But we'll, we'll find out. We'll give you uh, another five minutes on that, and then we'll compare answers. Right. Right, so I've got lots of... Um flowers cut out and then so this bit is entirely up to you yeah you can mat and layer your all your layers up so if i bring this one in you can see i've got the three different sizes so we can be popping them on individually you can um do them as two layers or you can do them as three so it's entirely up to you how you want to build this next bit up but i'm just going to pop those all to the side for now because um, I do have a piece of acetate somewhere. Here it is. So I've got my piece of acetate and we're just going to cut a few half inch strips. So they just need to be half inch wide. It doesn't ma necessarily matter how long they are because once we've got our flower at the top, then we're going we're gonna to sort of put it on here, see how uh, much we need to cut off. So you're not necessarily having to worry about the length of these at the minute. We're just going to cut lots of... Roughly half inch strips. Yeah. Are you good for time, do you reckon? I think so, yeah. yeah. We're just, we're gonna um, layer these up, pop them in those boxes, and then glue the boxes on. So I think, we, I think we're good. And of course, there won't be a vote for the demo of the show, because this will be uh, the demo of the show. So obviously winning by default. Uh, and then towards the end of the show, this final mate will go up against um, the other two winners from today, both Adam's makes, uh, which you haven't seen. Adam was in for Becky Swan earlier on softer side. He, he won wake up call with a, uh, a towel that he applied with his name. And then in um, softer side earlier on, he made a brilliant, um, well, I suppose it, it, it's like a wallet, like a passport holder he made out of the brand new fabric, which we've got today for you. So uh, we'll do the vote on that in just a little while, but it will be three fantastic makes to, uh, to vote on for your demo of the day. Tell you what we need to do, what we haven't done. What? We need to cut some foliage out. Oh, foliage. Some foliage. So I'm going to bring in one of my greens. I'm just going to bring in those um, foliage. The foliage, foliage, the pretty foliage. Foliage. Um, so again, I'm going to pop these on here because I'm going to run it through a couple of times. Again, making sure that you've got them facing the right way up. We don't want... Um, we don't want fridge magnets, not in this show. <laughs> I do have, um, so there has been a couple of times when I've cut the wrong way and I've cut into this. Um, with my heart, my heart um, nesting dies. Oh yeah. Uh, and I am using them on the fridge at the minute as, as fridge magnets. <laughs> right. Why not? They're, they're pretty. Yeah. <laughs> And plus, I didn't have to go out and buy them, so 
no bonus. I, I mean, I had to buy a new mat. <laughs> <laughs> but you got some no. lovely fridge magnets. <laughs> Every cloud has a silver lining, I think they say, <laughs> don't they? Right, so just going to pop these out. And again, so you can either um, cut some more out in that, that same green, or you can cut some more out in that and, and sort of alternate those. Again, it's just entirely up to you um, as the look that you're going for. Uh, Silv Sparkly says, hi all from London. Hi Silv. Says, forgot to switch back whilst organising my Academy of Colour pens and stamps. Uh, and on the front of the riddle, Fred171 says, Jamie is sweet but wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> well, uh, how many acetate sheets do we need? Um, so for mine, I have got... Um, Four in each. So if you're going to roughly cut eight, eight strips and then, um, so what I do when I cut my strip out, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let me bring that in. So I haven't measured the length of it because I don't need to. All I do is I will glue my flour right to the top of the acetate and then I will bring my box in and I will decide how high I want that to be. If I want it really tall, I'm going to leave it that length. If I want it sort of shorter, I'm going to bring it down and then I'm going to cut it in length because it's going to stick on one of those little bridges in there. Um, so lengthwise, it doesn't really matter. It's just roughly about half an inch wide because when we're placing it in, then we're going to be cutting it down anyway. So let me just get that off there, get that on there, and I'm just going to, again, just going to cut a few more out because I don't quite have enough. And again, um, entirely up to you, you might want loads of foliage on there, um, you might just want a few pieces, you might actually not want any at all, yeah. again, entirely up to you. So pop that through. Um, give yourself a pat on the back, by the way. Gwen, uh, the, our resident Riddler, says, Michelle is right. The answer is so obvious. It's four. Four corners. Yes. Four cats. Three in front of each. Four cats. <laughs> I thought 16, but obviously not four. Well done if you got four. Loads if you did. Um, give yourself a little pat on the back. No prizes. <laughs> Unless Gwen's supplying them. I'm not. <laughs> Every time you say four cats, it always reminds me of four candles. Four candles. Yeah. That was the tea Ronnie's, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, talking about four. Mm. Um, four Yorkshire men. Have you seen that one? It's... Um, what is it? A TV show? No, it's... Um, oh, I can't remember what they're called. Film? No, it's not a film. Oh. They, you, they did... Um, Ben, if you're watching, comment in the comments, please. The four Yorkshire men are... Um, it's right there, right on the top of my tongue. <laughs> Someone will know. The four Yorkshire men, it was those four comedians. Yeah. And they did um, a sketch called The Four Yorkshire Men. <laughs> Do you believe? <laughs> yeah. And it's... Monty Python. Oh, Monty Python. Thank you. Oh, oh thank right. you, Jamie. Right. I don't, I don't know that one. Obviously, if I had known, <gasps> I, would know have, I would have said to you, oh, that's Monty Python. It's hilarious. So anyone who's watching who's seen it, you must, you, you must know exactly why I think it's fabulous. Those of you who haven't seen it, even if you're not a Monty Python fan, it is the funniest thing. It has got Yorkshire people down to a T. Um, they're talking about just in the olden days, you know, um, you know how the sort of people have to get one up on each other. Yeah. You know, and one is like, oh well, I have to, I used to have to go to work before I even got uh, got to bed. I used to have to get up before, you know, th that yeah. kind of thing. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen, and it's hilarious. And well, anyway, <laughs> I will look for that after show. Sure. It's <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. So, um, so my piece of acetate is all the way down there. So, because it's going in the back, to the back, I'm going to decide where I want it and how high I want it. Uh, which is why I said leave it that length, because you can judge then yourself how high you want it and where you're going to cut it down to. But all I'm going to say is, so if I bring this in, 
this side is going to glue on there. So you need to make sure that you don't have these glued too far to that side or hanging over because they're going to hit that and it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that um, when you're putting them on, you're not putting them too far to that side. So we're going to, I'm just going to cut this down a little bit. We're going to use our normal tape pen for this. I'm going to put a bit of tape on the back and that's just going to pop in there. And that is all we're going to do. We're going to build this up. I'm, go I'm just going to put one on each. And again, you can go to town and put lots on. Um, I only put one on each because I knew that obviously with this craft along, we wouldn't get to that amount. But um, it still looks nice with a few on or it just looks as fabulous with lots on. Just keep an eye on your acetate. Don't yeah. keep losing it. <laughs> Ben McCarthy says, Monty Python. Thank you. You're a bit late, Ben. Come on. Um, oh, I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. I, do you know, I talk to myself all the time. I am answering um, Jamie. Honest, I'm not really talking to myself. Um, not, not yet. Uh, Fre <laughs> Fred171 says, I spit my tea when you said Yorkshire men. I love Monty Python. Uh, their lumberjack spoof is hilarious too. They are just. I, do you know what? So to be honest, do you, uh, again, this this for our our US viewers was Monty Python a big thing in the US? I don't I don't know if it was, but I never. It's just something that sort of passed me by Monty Python. I I, I know of like the I know the lumberjack sketch. There's the um, the dead parrot sketch was Monty Python, wasn't it? And obviously the films, which yeah. I, again, I've never really, I've never really sat down and watched, but um, I know loads of people who love all of those uh, films and the shows and whatnot. It was, um, who was it? Michael Palin, wasn't it? Yeah. And John, John Cleese, John Cleese wasn't it? Yeah. The main, we were there with the main two, weren't they? Yeah. 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 See, I, I was never really a big fan, but there's just the odd thing that they've done yeah. that are hilarious. And coming from Yorkshire, <laughs> And listening to that um, that sketch, it is hilarious. And you know, I'm not insulting anyone from Yorkshire because I'm from there, so I'm allowed to do it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so again, we're just gonna I'm gonna pop that on the top of that piece of acetate. I'm gonna layer it up with a smaller one. I aren't putting any foam pads on these because it's gonna be able to fold to send um, but if you want to put foam pads on to add that extra um, depth then absolutely do that and on some of these i'm going to add some leaves some foliage and on some of them i aren't but if you've got more time at home you know definitely you'll be going to town with these so let's just Pop that on there. Yeah, a few of our uh, lovely crafters are saying that they love Monty Python. A few just saying it's passed them by. Uh, Eric Idle was... That's it. He's also yeah. in it. The, I, the one I, I love John Cleese in, and again, I don't know if you had, the, or had this or whether it was shown in the US, was Faulty Towers. <laughs> that, that show I could just watch over and over that again. Is. And they ever, ever made about 12 episodes, I think. <laughs> it was, wasn't enough, was that? No, it wasn't. It was brilliant. I love him as... Um, Basil Faulty, wasn't it? <laughs> and si Basil and Sybil, and, and Sybil, then um, yeah. Manuel. Manuel. <laughs> I know nothing. Yeah, I'm from Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> right! <laughs> I'm going to give you a jolly good thrashing! <laughs> and he starts hitting his car <laughs> with that branch and it breaks down. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to have to go home and watch some of that later on, I think. Oh, that's definitely a Friday night program, isn't it? Yeah. Like Folly Towers. Yeah. They show it, they re-show it quite a lot on like um, Comedy Gold and stuff, don't yeah. they, I think? Yeah, they do. The one which we watched uh, again recently, pretty much all of the shows was Only Fools and Horses. Love re that. re that from start to finish with um, David Jason. Uh, I think he's brilliant. Such a funny show. See, that's um, um, Becky Swan's dad did some of the props for that, didn't he? I think he did the, the props for a lot of things, didn't yeah. he, actually? Because he did the painting of um, Del, Raquel and, um, is it Damien, their son? He, he, he did the painting? 
I'm pretty sure that's what she said to me. I didn't know. I didn't realise that. Um, Mary Reno says, Mary says, uh, love Monty Python, big wherever I lived, uh, love the twit of the week sketch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we got the crafter of the week here. Yeah, yeah, the twit of the week. Uh, Faulty Towers, hilarious, says uh, Anne. Uh, and Sally Cripps on Facebook saying, yes, love Faulty Towers, lol. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I, don't think, I, I don't think I've ever come across anyone who hasn't not laughed at an episode of Faulty Towers. Well, it's just, it's just hilarious, isn't it? I mean, it come is. on, you don't like that. Uh, I tried to watch Faulty Towers, and Monty <laughs> Python says Rhonda, but I needed a translator, lol. <laughs> um, Kirsty D said, my favourite sketch in the parrot is the parrot sketch. I start laughing as soon as it starts. John Cleese is hilarious. <laughs> His poor wife, Sybil. I always felt so sorry for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, where's my acetate? Oh, I've lost my acetate. Oh, it's here. It's right next to me. So I'm just going to cut a couple more strips. I'm just going to do this um, with my scissors. But again, all, I'm just doing exactly the same as what you saw me doing before. We're just popping these onto the top of that piece of acetate. Um, I'm going to mat and layer them up. Let me see. These are just a couple of the ones where I didn't quite cut all the way through. But I'm going to pop them on anyway. Uh, yours obviously will be cut all the way through because you're going to be taking a little bit more time than me. Just going to cut this down. Roughly see if I'm happy with that. And then again, so this is where the foliage comes in. Um, just decorating these up. But the only thing I will say is, so when you turn it over, you can sort of see um, it's not the neatest, it's not the tidiest. So what you're going to do is, um, again, which I haven't, because I really don't, um, we're not going to have that much time, but you're just going to take another piece and you're just going to layer it over the back Obviously, you're going to match it up. Where is it? There, I think. Match it up. Just layer it over the back, and then it just tidies it up. You've got your acetate in between the two rather than on the back. So when you fold it closed, it looks neat on the back as well. Yeah. So let's pop this on there. And this is the fun bit for me, building up this little scene here and um, just having... A lot of fun getting all this. And you can really build it up. You can make this really big and bold. And yeah, you can be as extravagant as you yes, want to be, really. Yeah, can't you? definitely. So I'm going to pop that one on the front here. <laughs> so I'm going to leave those there. Okay for now so I'm going to bring this in and this one where I haven't got that side mat and layered we're just gonna we're gonna put some glue on and we're gonna hold it here to do it so I'm gonna again I'm gonna be using my tacky glue oh where's my there we go just gonna glue this side and I find this easiest to attach it laid down so this is gonna stay here and I'm gonna butt this up yeah. To there. And I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on just to get that initial grab. And then I'm just going to slide it over and then I'm going to press down until it's grabbed and it's, uh, the glue has gone off. And then, because I can see here that it's laid exactly straight on there, I can see that it's laid straight there. And then when I pop it up, it's perfectly in line. Pab. So I'm going to do exactly the same to this side. Maybe just need to grab that just for a couple more seconds so it holds properly. There we go. So again, exactly the same. I'm going to pop the glue on this side. And I'm just going to butt it straight up. The thing is, you, you're using the glass mat to keep it all nice and straight uh, underneath. So, you know, it's not going to... You're not trying to hold it up and get all your... 
have, need more hands than you've actually got to hold everything into place. So we're just going to line that up, we're going to flatten it out and then we're just going to hold it till that glue goes off and grabs. Such a lovely project is this. You've pretty much timed this to perfection as well, haven't you, today? I, I know. <laughs> I'm getting Don't know why I'm so surprised. <laughs> the only other thing that I've done, which I haven't got on this one, so is I've got some of these stitched fancy rec rectangle dies. Yeah. So all, the only different thing is, I've just, again, so I've just took three of the sizes in those three colours. Again, you don't have to, if you don't have any, I think we've all got nesting dies, but if you don't have these ones, just cut your, um, you know, just cut some rectangles just with your guillotine. Yeah. And then I've used this, so I've used this thanks very much. Um, and I've just used the thanks, so that's what I've used here. And then you can see, um, so we'll just pop a few gems on. So in each of my flower, I have popped a gem. Because you've got the acetate, I mean, these are um, already sticky ones, but because you've got that acetate behind there, you don't need to worry about the sticky coming through um, where there's no card in the middle because you've got the acetate. And then especially if you're going to pop another one behind it to have your um, acetate hidden, which I would absolutely recommend you do. It's just cutting one more out, but it means your acetate's sandwiched in between two of those flowers, uh, rather than, um, so I'll show you. Look, you can see, you can't, you probably can't see so much as I can, but if you're gonna give that to someone, you can see the acetate, and as much as it doesn't look a mess, um, just popping another one behind, sandwiching your acetate in between, it's tidying it up, it's, you know, if you're going to go to this much effort to make someone a card, or keep it, um, you know, you're going to tidy those little bits behind Maybe up. Maybe just wondering where the inspiration of the project came from. Um, so it was the flowers. I was thinking of something different to do with the flowers, and I thought, I always love doing flowers in a pop-up box. Yeah. And then I thought, but how can I do a pop-up box a little bit different? Um, and then one thing led to another in... Um, in my brain and I thought actually it would be nice to have it on a card yeah and because I thought well it still folds flat and then I thought oh we'll put two small ones on each side and then it sort of evolves from there doesn't it but um so that is that one for now so again so you'd put the thanks on there so again so if I bring this one in for you to show you the final one so if I turn it round for you so just, again, so just that sentiment in the middle. Um, really build those sides up if you want with the flowers. I mean, I've multi-layered these a little bit more than this one, purely time-wise, mm. but you've got more time, so you can absolutely go to town with those uh, flowers in your little, um, little window boxes. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal. Um, so many lovely comments coming through. I love this project, says Fred171. I'll give it a go. Loving the colours, Michelle's use, says Kathy C. Gorgeous. Uh, Miriam says, I'm looking forward to making this. Terry Anderson says, this is looking amazing. And not hard to do either. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, I really love this project, Michelle. It's so pretty, says Mary Reno. And uh, Debbie Mayen says, oh my goodness, Michelle, this is wonderful. I'm going to make this from my mother's 93rd birthday. Oh, uh, and wow. And she will love it. Thank yeah. you. Um, I tell you what, uh, we've got about five minutes. Let's um, get the vote of the day going, and then we'll... Um, We'll see how uh, Amy's got on. So obviously, uh, by default, it's, it would have won anyway if there'd been anything else in the show. <laughs> this is obviously the demo of the show. But what is the demo of the day? I can show you uh, number one, first of all. So number one is Adam's uh, towel. So he, um, he used those uh, multimedia uh, dies earlier on to applicate that gorgeous... Uh, that gorgeous name onto the towel. I've got his name. Adam is it absolutely gorgeous? Using some of the um, the the uh, fabric from the uh, brand new collection, which is on the shop today page. So that is one. Number two, also using that brand new fabric, uh, Adam created this gorgeous little uh, wallet there, which I think was uh, super cute. That was his project in softer side earlier on. So number one for the towel. Number two for the wallet. Or three 
is the beautiful card you have just seen made. One, two, or three. Uh, get a vote and you've got about two minutes to get your vote in on that. Um, one of the best cards I've seen says uh, Sensational Sky. Uh, Miriam says Demo of the Week slash Demo of the Month Ooh. as well, apparently. Um, right. Should we, say, should we see how Amy's got on? Oh, yes. Um, perhaps. Uh, um, just to see. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> just to see. Oh, and she has finished in perfect time as well. well. I'm um, still putting the flowers in my flower baskets, but, uh, you know, you can see that I have done it some of it. Some, a little bit of tidying up to do, but I have my... Um, all the rest of mine to put on my acetate strips, so I'll Amazing. finish decorating. And just show us a bit close up on. so Michelle can see, just um, so we can see to the camera again. Oh, there. where we're at right now? Okay. Yeah, it'd be great just to see. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Let's oh, wow! Like that. What do you reckon, Michelle? Perfect. Oh, I love, I love your embellishment in the middle of the card. That looks amazing. That's actually from the... That's from the... That's from the Sunflower Collection. This is the back side. Yes. You know, it's the purpley gold on one of the back sides of the papers. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It looks beautiful. I love um, your choice. I love the way that you've put your flowers in the middle. It's awesome. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thanks for inspiring me. Um, Amy, thank you so much. It's always lovely to have you on. Um, great, again, to have you crafting along with us. Have you got any weekend plans, anything special to look forward to, or just lots of crafting? Um, we have a friend staying with us. So we'll have um, fun with that. So Amazing. Well, listen, thank you once again for joining us and uh, hopefully we'll thank get you, you back on another me. craft along very soon. Okay. And I'll um, send pictures. Oh, yes, yes please do. Please. Amazing. And uh, send those three to us and we'll, we'll have a look and uh, hopefully uh, maybe share them tomorrow on the, uh, on the channel as well. Thank you, Amy. Perfect. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Oh, absolutely brilliant. How amazing was Amy's project? Yes, it was coming together beautifully. I know. Uh, yeah. absolutely phenomenal um, and loads of you just saying stunning project um, one of the best cards I've seen says sensational sky um, and Miriam Robinson also saying demo of the week demo of the month Aww. as well um, we'll get the final result on that in just a second you're in tomorrow aren't you I am um, with Becky. Becky. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I love Becky Redekin. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. She's just brilliant. Uh, and what's coming up tomorrow? Play your crafts, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Plus lots more. Um. <laughs> you feel like me. You can't remember from one day to the next. Um, so we've got play your crafts, right? And it's a surprise as to what we've got for the rest of the day. Yeah. For me and you. No, we've got craft vault in the afternoon. So yep. it's all those um, Christmas stuff. And then we have Sharon Callis at Craft House tomorrow night. So I've got some of those beautiful fairies. Um, I've got those, I can't remember what they're called, but you sort of make a dome front with them, with the, the happy birthday and the flowers and yeah. the balloons, you know which I mean. Yeah. Um, so all Sharon Callis stuff, all her, her quilling flowers. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, lots, lots of... Um, Lots of goodies. Lots to look forward to. Demo of the show. Demo of the day, rather. <laughs> Number three. Yay! Uh, well done, Michelle. Congratulations. We'll get that up onto our crafty walk of fame. I'm pleased because A, you deserved it, and B, I've now got a lovely towel uh, and a fantastic, <laughs> a fantastic wallet to take home. Laura, look what I made you at work today. Adam did say I could have that. It'd be a bit weird if I gave her a towel with Adam on, wouldn't it, maybe? Uh, what's that? Oh, Julia's son's called Adam. There you go. Have that one on me. I'll take taking this one home. <laughs> thank you all so much for a lovely day today. Thank you to Julia. Thank you to uh, Michelle. Thank you to Susie uh, and the rest of our social team. Thank you to Jamie. Thank you to me. Uh, Charlotte, I'll be back with you sometime next week. I can't even remember when, but have a brilliant weekend. <laughs> Bye.